On today's episode, I'll show you how to make a tadiq Persian rice. Soak the rice in cold water and a teaspoon of salt for a minimum of two hours or up to a day in advance. Pour the rice and the water in a non-stick pan. Add an additional two to three cups of water and a teaspoon of salt. Once the water comes to a rolling boil, reduce the heat to medium and allow the rice to cook for 10 to 15 minutes until it's al dente. Pour the rice into a strainer and rinse with cold water. Using the same nonstick pan, add a tablespoon of safflower or grapeseed oil and two to three tablespoons of butter. Once the butter is fully melted, pour into a bowl and set aside. And preferably not over a stove top, just do it over a cool surface. The tadig rice that I'm demonstrating uses the lavash as its base. Lavash is a thin bread similar to a tortilla. Now if you can't find lavash in a Middle Eastern or Indian specialty store, then you could substitute it with a thin flour tortilla. Pour half of the butter mixture into your nonstick pot. Break up the lavash pieces and soak them into the mixture. You can pour more oil over the bread if you need to, but I think half is sufficient enough. You want to make sure that the breads are fully saturated with the butter mixture. Pour the rice over the bread. Saffron is used in many Iranian dishes, especially in rices for its distinctive aroma and color. It comes in different grades and it's found in Middle Eastern and Indian specialty stores. If you're interested in a good saffron grade, please visit the link below. As a general rule of thumb, buy saffron that has a rich amber tone, similar to what I'm using. Place about a pinch of saffron in a mortar and pestle and break up the strands without crushing them. Pour some hot water and allow it to sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. Pour the saffron water into the butter mixture. Spoon the mixture over the rice and also to the sides of the pot. Take a small damp towel, place it over the lid and cover the pot. In order to form the dark, in order to form the golden crispy taddy, begin by cooking on medium heat for about 10 minutes. Reduce the heat to low and cook for an additional 40 minutes. Carefully turn the rice over onto a platter and you're ready to serve. This is just one of a few ways to make a taddy Persian rice. In future segments, I'll show you how to make different variations, so don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.